In this video, I will discuss the importance of digital pressure postoperatively after glaucoma surgery. Trabeculectomy is still the gold standard surgical procedure for glaucoma. The advent of new non-penetrating procedures such as viscocannulostomy, cannuloplasty, and the trabeculotome have not shown low enough intracranial pressure, good long-term results, nor an easy learning curve. In this video, I will discuss the therapeutic and diagnostic benefits of digital massage to make your trabeculectomy results most uh, effective. I like to perform digital pressure while the patient is looking down while directly observing the bleb. You place uh, pressure just behind the location of the scleral flap which creates a gap in the flap and breaks adhesions. You will see the bleb slowly inflate. With more resistance to flow, I will use a moistened uh, cotton tip applicator to provide focal pressure. Here you can see a focal bleb that does not expand with massage because of resistance at the scleral flap. Suture lysis was able to lower the pressure from 26 to 10 and resulted in a nice diffuse bleb. Digital pressure can help you diagnose an encapsulated bleb. This is a bleb that contains an external fluid reservoir surrounded by scar tissue. Here you can see the focal elevation with digital massage. One can perform suture lysis to maximize flow. One can counsel the patient that this is a common cause of elevated pressure three to six weeks after surgery and that 90% of the time this will soften on its own and result in good intracranial pressure control. The best treatment is patience by the doctor and the patient. I will avoid suture lysis when the eye is cytal positive with pressure or if there's minimal conjunctival resistance that could lead to hypotony. Prior to suture lysis, I will always check for cytal positive with digital pressure. Here, digital pressure shows an eye that is cytal negative without pressure, but cytal positive with digital pressure. One should avoid suture lysis until the eye is cydel negative with digital pressure. Here, digital massage shows a bleb with very little conjunctival resistance and a pressure of two after mild massage. One may consider avoiding suture lysis at this time until conjunctival resistance has occurred, or the surgeon may expect a short self-limited time of hypotony. Now we'll see whether you've learned when to cut or pull your releasable sutures. This video shows the diagnostic benefit of digital massage, the therapeutic benefits of loosening flap sutures, clearing blood and fibrin from beneath the scleral flap. Here in Oregon, we usually say just do it, but I think you get the idea. Just push it while you're taking care of your post-operative glaucoma patients. Push it. Push it good. Push it good. Push it. Push it real good. Take it!